I am continuing to test and try to trip up chat GPT-4. Um, this is just a bit of interest of mine, but also I think it will help us to understand how these tools really think, try and predict which questions they are very good at solving, which questions they have, um, they have some, some difficulty with. So I'm going to give it a classic problem that involves uh, infinity. So the idea is you have an unknown stacked infinitely. So like x to the power of 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 etc, etc, etc. Just equals 2. This is a classic problem. Some of you may have seen it before. Um, if you're really interested in this problem and you want to try and understand how ChatGPT4 uh, thinks, maybe you could stop the video here. Try and work it out yourself. There's a cool little substitution trick uh, I will attach to this video at the end. I will show you how to do it. Let's ask GPT to find X. So, first thing. Good. It has interpreted properly that what I said was an infinite power stack of, uh, of X's. That's pretty good. Okay. I mean, it is a language, language understander, so I'm glad it's got that. It's worked out a correct substitution. This is also quite impressive. Now it's substituted it back into itself, and you've got this equation y equals x to the power of y. Now it takes a log of both sides. Okay, I can understand why it wants to do that. It wants to bring one of the unknowns down. Now it cites this Lambert W function. Okay, it tells us what it is. I don't really care. I haven't heard of it myself. Maybe I should have. Um, and now it's going to do something with it. And I don't really understand what it's doing there. So maybe those of you who know what the Lambert W uh, function is will be able to follow this. I can't. Seems to be doing doing something with the function. Let's just let it go. So it's found this incredibly long-winded way of just saying that y is e to the ln y. Now it's worked out that x to the power of y equals x to the power of y. Okay, so now it's just going around in circles. Wow, okay, so it's managed to trick itself that it's found a solution basically just by doing a tremendous amount of algebra and, uh, and flipping things around. And then at the end, it gives us very, very confidently that X is approximately 1.55961. I can assure you that X is not this. Now, interestingly, this is not actually the first time I've done this over the last few days, and it always seems to have difficulty with this problem. But what I find quite interesting is every time I give it the problem, it seems to me that it gives different ways of thinking about it. It knows it needs to use the, this W function, um, and it always gives some sort of answer between about 1.5 and 1.8, but it actually gives me different answers each time, none of which are correct, by the way. If you want to see the correct answer, you can watch at the end of this video. But there's a few things I want to point out here. It seems to be able to do this algebraic manipulation quite well, but it almost reminds me of a bit of a high schooler when it ended up at this point where x to the power of y equals x to the power of y. I think all of us that were into algebra remembered once like, going through a lot of steps but not really understanding the final, uh, the final destination we're aiming for and you come all the way back around and you end up basically accidentally substituting back something back into itself and proving that something is itself. In this case, they've just proved that x to the power of y equals x to the power of y. Um, that's quite a human mistake to make, but exactly how it then went from that to x is approximately 1.55961, 
I've no idea. If anyone has any ideas, uh, please leave some suggestions in the comments. I think we can successfully uh, claim that, that the human has beaten ChatGPT. So ChatGPT couldn't solve this. Maybe we can. Let's get rid of that. Time to solve this problem. So let's write it out just as we did before. So we've got an infinite stack of X's. Let's do it a little bit closer, I think, in the camera, actually. So we've got X to the power of 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 X going on forever equals to two. Right? Now, we can make the substitution just like ChatGPT did, where it realized because this is an infinite stack, you can replace this with x to the power of all of that, which is equal to 2, is still equal to 2. Okay, or to put it in a slightly more compact form, x squared equals 2. Such a simple equation now. You just take the square root of both sides and you can take the principal square root and say that x equals the square root of 2, which we know is about 1.141. Not any of this 1.55, 1.7, whatever chat GPT was giving us. Okay, um, So have a little look at that. Um, this is a really, really cool trick to learn, by the way. ChatGPT seems to be having problems with it. And interestingly, it seems to have no problem with this idea of infinity. That doesn't seem to be what's um, tripping it up. You might think that's a difficult concept for it to understand. It seems to deal with that very, very well, infinite substitution. Um, but it got all the way to here, understood it could be replace it with two, and it failed. All you have to do is replace it with two, x squared equals two. If you want to have a bit more fun, with these power towers, which I um, I think you should, you can try ones where maybe instead of uh, not equaling two, maybe it equals to three. Okay, uh, try and solve that. Use the same trick. Learn how to deal with them. You could also try some power towers where you actually have like two variables. I don't know, like x y x y x y equals uh, four, and then y x y x y x whatever equals something else. You can play around with these. Uh, they're really, really interesting little problems. But anyway, that just gives you a bit of context to the problem that ChatGPT could not solve, but we can.